This is Robert Agar Hutton. This welcoming video is off the cuff. What I want to say is this. Tai Chi is great. There is definite evidence that Tai Chi can help with a, with a number of things as we all get older. I'm 66. Uh, I'm not going to pretend for one minute that I can jump tall buildings. I have a little bit of arthritis in my uh, left ankle, which gives me uh, trouble from time to time. And yeah, that's it. Time, uh, time is not our friend, but Tai Chi is. The things that you'll learn are uh, quite a variety, and I'll show you a few of them today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of our basic exercises. I'm going to show you one of the forms. A form is a prearranged set of movements. Uh, I will show you one of the easier forms. Uh, it's a thing called the eight move one step form. As a member of the site, you will learn that form. Uh, there are multiple, multiple videos uh, and written instructions that help you learn it. And then you will go on to learning other forms, more complicated forms. Uh, as time goes by, I will be with you every step of the way. Uh, forms, progressive, uh, enjoyable, challenging your body without being, how do I put it, without being like going to the gym and pumping iron and coming back and being exhausted. Tai Chi on a general level is, is very doable, yeah? It accommodates you. Um, as well as exercises and as well as forms, there will also be things called Qigong exercises. Qigong exercises are, uh, backtrack. Tai Chi was created as a martial art, but has health and exercise benefits. Qigong, on the other hand, was originally created maybe as much as 3000 years ago as systems just for health benefits, or primarily for health benefits. Uh, let me show you some of each of them. Okay, let's start with some exercises. Stand with your feet about hip width apart. Let the legs relax and the knees bend just a little. Turn the waist and the hips and let the arms float around the body. Now, because this is just a sample video, I would like to point out that you shouldn't copy along. It is just to show you what will be inside the members area and obviously a very small sample of what will be inside the members area. Um, this is an exercise in relaxation. You then relax the arms, and start powering the body from the legs. Legs are very important in Tai Chi. Uh, they provide the motive power, which is pretty obvious, I guess. Our third exercise is a combination of the first two. The hips turn, the legs work, the arms float up and down. Next exercise, and obviously I'm rushing through them. When you become a member, that we do the exercises for quite a bit longer. Here we have simple hip circles. First one way, then the other. Now you have a hip and ankle mobility exercise, which you do just basically by drawing circles with your knee first one way then the other, and of course you would do it with the other leg as well. Same thing with shoulders, shoulders back, shoulders forwards. A lot of the exercises that I'll be teaching you are to do with mobility. Uh, tai Chi isn't about weightlifting, Tai Chi isn't about press ups and jumping jacks. Tai Chi is about using the body, hopefully, in as biomechanically effective and relaxed way. Okay, let me show you our first form. The first form that you will learn is called the eight move one step form. 
cunningly called that because there are eight moves and one step. I will go through it very quickly. Um, I won't give any instruction because obviously <laughs> that's what the membership area is for, uh, but I will give you the, the individual names of the moves because you may find that interesting. First move is called opening move. We then have a transition which is called hold ball, followed by part the wild horse's mane. Now the eight move one step form is quite an interesting form because it's bilateral. You do every move on both sides. The next move is called grasp swallow's tail. It comprises four components and I'll name them when I do grass swallow's tail on the other side in a moment. I'm deliberately going a little bit faster than we normally would. This is called pun. This is called Lou. This is called G. And this is called arm. Next, we have a move called single whip. My sense of humor being fairly terrible. In Chinese, I always think of this as Mr. and Mrs. Bien's son Dan, because in Chinese it's called Dan Bien. This move is strum the lute. You will be exposed to my sense of humor. I hope you will survive. Tai Chi should be enjoyable. By the way, that was White Crane spreads wings. This move is brush knee and push step. I'll show you that on the other side. White Crane spreads wings. Brush knee and push step. Yeah, if you can't enjoy yourself while you're doing Tai Chi, you're not doing Tai Chi. The last move is called closing move. That's the form. Okay, uh, I mentioned the Qigong exercise. I will show you very quickly our five move Qigong exercise. Five move Qigong, you start with your feet apart. The first move is very similar to the first move in most Tai Chi forms, although there are some technical differences that we could go into. The second move, all the moves are about breathing deeply. All the moves are about gently strengthening muscles and uh, allowing joints to move smoothly. And coordinated movement is very important as well. Third move. This Qigong is called a five move Qigong because there are five moves. Fourth move, opening the chest, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And the fifth move. Which of course you can do as many times as you want and when you get to here you would normally close or half close your eyes and just relax for a minute or two. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick very little video trying just to give you a taste of some of the things that, that, that I'll be teaching you and also some of the things my wife will teach you uh, once you join our membership site. Look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thank you.